out here today rock fishing um not crabbing for us today um we're not too into them but i don't know that's just that's just us but anyway we're gonna start the day off my dad's got a uh the, the, the killer that's what they call it that's the bull tackle on his rod so yeah let's drop down now all right i'm gonna start off with this board jig hopefully you can see that i don't know how well it is we got a different type of head cam today got it got it on the hat huh oh yeah and last time we were last time we were out we caught some uh some smelt and just pretty much some bait I did a little rockfish trip and uh where are they right here yeah. so we'll try those later maybe for some link cod but for now we're just gonna start with this board jig let's drop that down and my dad's got the killer they call it at pitbull tackle in the root beer color four ounce Oh, got one. There's one. It is a canary. Or no, that's not a canary. That's a, I don't even know. What is that? All right, I'll descend it later. I'll throw it in there for now. Or maybe we can use it as ling bait. We'll see. Got something? There's a weight. Got something. Might have a cucumber or something. Sea cucumber. What do I got? It's not fighting. Yeah, it is a sea cucumber. Or no, it's uh yeah it is. Oh there you go. You got one? You're getting bit though. Things weird. Should get the pliers out. I don't want to touch it. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah, there's a ling. There's a ling cod. Get that stick ready. There's something. It's a rockfish. Yeah. It's a nice size. Yeah, it is. That's a keeper. All day. Oh, there's Come on. Oh. Got one? Yeah, there you go. There's it's a bent. Lane. That's bent. That's a lane. You would be the first of the morning to start the lane, huh? You would be. <laughs> Look at this. Bent, bent, bent. That's a wing. Bent. Is it a lane? Did I lose it? Oh, you lost it. Must have not hooked it, dude. That was a wing. Wow, okay. For sure a lane. I might use something bigger. All right, time to switch to a swim bait. Old, faithful, trusty swim bait. All right, let's catch a ling now. Not going for rockfish today. If we were doing that, I'd just put some shrimp flies on and get our limits quick. But want those ling cod. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a ling. That's a ling. For sure a ling. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I got one too. Doubled up. I got one. Got one. Yeah, there it is. Well, we were doubled up. No, no, no. Don't get off. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We were doubled up. Come on, come on. Stop shaking your head. 
Oh, that's a Lang for sure. We were doubled up on Langs. You lost the whole thing? Oh, the leader broke. I bet you uh, from those lings you lost earlier, their teeth must have scratched up the line. Okay. Come on. No, 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 no. I got it. Got it. Oh, you got a nice one. I know. Where are Ling's codfield? I know, but this, uh, oh yeah, get the, it's probably all the tank. Oh, there you go. Right out. First Ling of the day. It's a pretty good one, too. Well, not, not, not a good one, but it's a good keeper. Good eater. About 26, I'd say. I netted them because we've been losing too many. I don't know, I got scared. Normally I gaff them, but my dad was getting some, some for his leader. Huh? Yeah, he, lo he lost his killer, the lure killer. I think uh, he's been hooking too many lings on it and uh, it just eventually, I think the line was getting frayed because of the teeth. Um, 25 inch there. Cause I don't know if you can see that, but Lingcod have these gnarly teeth all along like that. So I think that's what frayed up his line. So that last Lingcod we just caught frayed up my line. And that's what happened to my dad. And then he got another and then popped off. So I'm going to cut that off and retie maybe like right here. Cause this is all, this is all good right here. Pit bull tackle. Oh, got one. Yeah. Is it a ling or is it a rockfish? I don't think it's a ling. Here it is. Rockfish. That's a rockfish. Rock yeah. Oh, there's one. That's off. That's the problem with using such big swim baits. You miss a lot of fish because uh, they're biting the tail. But sometimes you'll get rewarded with bigger fish. That's the whole goal. My dad's going to switch up to a. So a frozen either smelt or kingfish. And if you're wondering, at least anywhere where we go for bait shops, you cannot buy these. You have to catch them. So what we did last time, we went salmon fishing. We, uh, hold on, is that a fish? Nope. Anyway, last time we went salmon fishing, we caught um, some smelt and uh, a kingfish also. And we decided to keep it and freeze it. So that's what my dad's doing now. Just tied a pit bull tackle halibut rig on. And then he's gonna either put smelt or kingfish. Oh yeah, you got it. So that's what he's using. He's using real bait. I'm using fake bait. Oh, I got a ling, dude. You think you got something? Ling. Hey, you got some movement on that pole. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, can I have that gaff? I'll do it myself. Come up here, you ling. Oh, he's taking a big run. Oh, he, he's taking a run. I got one. Maybe it's bigger than 24 inches. Hey, it was 25. Oh, you got one too. Double up, baby. <laughs> Oh my god. You got a you got one on there too. Yeah, baby. So I'm talking about on the smelt. Okay, here we go. Wanna add 
time? Yeah, mine's right here. Ooh, what's Ooh, up? You got a big one. Yeah, I do. You wanna, um, no, you can't. Uh, you need a net. <laughs> Woo! That is a monster. You better get the net. Just taking a run. Oh, no, no, fight yours, fight yours, fight yours. I'll get it myself. I don't want you to lose yours. Oh boy. Let me just get mine. Angle in. that camera a little higher. Okay, here. No, you need a net, dude. I got it. That's a big one, dude. That's over three foot long. No, you. All right, let's look at that again. So basically what happened here was um, as I was going to gaff the fish, my dad wanted to get the net because he was thinking it might be a little difficult for me to gaff it just one-handed. And it was kind of a bigger fish. So what happened was when he was getting the net, the uh, net handle hit the gaff's handle. And when I was pulling it up, I couldn't really pull it anymore. So the fish had an opportunity to kind of flop off the gaff. So I guess we'll have to gaff him again. Oh, shit. Here, 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 here's net. Get your ass in here, boy. Oh, man, no, you need a net, dude. I got it. That's a big one, dude. That's over three foot long. Got it. No, you. Still here. Got him again. Get your ass in here, boy. All right, just fight yours, fight yours, fight yours. It's okay, don't worry about it. Here's mine. Here's mine. Here it comes. Good one. Get up here, boy! Get up here, boy! Two in the two. same spot, man. Look two at that. Two box, baby. Oh, I was on that smelt. That's a good one. They're, they're twins. They are. It's got blood coming out of it. Oh, uh, the way these. Right, boys. Look at that. <laughs> you want to get a picture? Oh, it's still got some fish in its mouth. Now yeah, we got to keep our bait. I bet you should probably change your leader, though. It's got a huge mouth. Dude, it's your leader. I don't know. Come on, open up. You nailed it. Shoo! That's a good one. I thought I hit another snag. I'm like, damn, a snag again. Double up. Yeah, I'm shaking a lot. We gotta get our baits back down there. They are down there. They're chomping. I'm gonna weigh them, but. Okay, I'm guessing 12 for mine. And I'd say for my dad's 15 or so. Oh, mine's not even. Oh, mine's a nine. Mine held about 10. Oh gosh, it's always bigger, huh? 13? 13. 13. Good one. There's tacos tonight. On the smelt that we caught a week ago. Alright, just one more. No! Was this some fires? That was my knife. I bet a fish is gonna eat it. No! Had that knife forever! Yeah. I think I let it go under the rocks. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, now it's off. I got the check. That was weird. Oh, you got one. There you go. There you go. You got your ling. <laughs> there he is. Is that a ling or a rock? Might be a rock. Let me get mine up because oh yeah you got yeah that's a ling. It's in his mouth. I don't know if I snagged it. No, it's it's there. Is it big enough though? Uh he might be small. He's probably keeps but We'll let it go. Let's let it go. It's probably a keeper, but we'll let him free. He's small. There he goes. See you later. Back down to the bottom. Oh, 
Oh, I caught someone else's line. <laughs> oh, I caught a swim bait. And you got a swim bait out of it. Look, that's what it was. I caught someone's swim bait. Should I use that? Free lure. <laughs> this is also something, uh, this is really helpful. This is something that's really nice. I ordered, it's a hook sharpener. So on these jig heads, I mean, we're pretty much bouncing them, bouncing them along the rock. So on the jig heads, they uh, do that. Usually the hooks will roll kind of and get dull just from hitting the rocks. So this hook sharpener makes it really easy to just get it back nice and razor sharp like that. And this swim bait has caught a lot of fish. You can tell by the, the shoe marks on it, but it, I don't even know. It might be worth one more fish, but it's sliding off a lot. Uh, I don't know. I was gonna, I might switch to this just cause we caught it, but I like this one and I don't know, it hasn't fell off yet. As long as it's alive, I'm gonna keep fishing it. Here, feel, feel this. Yeah, it's really beat up. <laughs> I know, it is. Uh, I'll give you my phone number. Oh, that's a snag. Or is it? It's a fish. Yeah, there's a ling. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it sure feels like, you know, one of those snags, I tell you. Because you're bouncing the rock and then you That's a ling for sure. Okay, okay, careful, careful, careful. Leave it on the water. It's a little, well, yeah. It's legal. Ah. It's. Pick it, pick it up. Just pick it up. You think, uh, that's legal. If you want it. Do you want it? I guess that'd be good. Uh, four is four, I guess, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could probably get a bigger one, though. Let's see. We'll measure it. Mm. It's not even legal. Well, I don't know. I think it's close to legal, but either way, I think we're gonna let it go, so. See you later, Ling. Your lucky day. You can tell when you have a Ling, though. Oh, there's a Ling. That might be the legal one. Keep reeling, he's on. That's legal. That's a keeper. <laughs> that one's heavier. <laughs> yeah, that's the keeper. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the right, that's the right bait to use. That's the right size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a big one. He's running now. You gotta run. You gotta run. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. He does know he's hooked. Mark the spot. Oh, there he is. I got deep color. So you're going to be able to gaffle? Just, oh, wait, wait. Get. Okay. Get yeah, that's legal. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that's about as big as the other one. Wow. So you're going to be able to gaffle? Oh, wait, wait. Get. Okay. Get yeah, that's legal. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that's about as big as the other one. <laughs> I'm glad we threw the other Limits and baby. This spot's hot. Check that one out. Picked it up real high like this and shit, everybody. Look at that That's ling there. Right there. All right, I'm thinking another 13 pounder, okay. just like your last one. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how well you can see that. 12 pounder. Good day out here. All right, well, we got a good day out here. I'll show you the fish real quick. Here they are. There's a small sling cod there. I think it was 25 inches. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll give them a little measure real quick. All of them. Well, let's see here. The smallest is 26. The Second small. I got the two small ones of the day, but that's okay. They're not even that small, to be honest. All right, about 29 for my second one. 
Then we got a, or this might have been the last one, I don't know. Over 32, or no, I think he's about 32. Yeah, 32 on the dot, but he's a little curved anyway. He's not totally straight. And then the last one will be, I think about 30, 34. Yeah, 34 inches. So good day. Um, caught him on this swim bait here. This one, and then also a uh, smelt that we caught at Duxbury two weeks ago, going for salmon. Um, just, you know, just jigging. We saw some smelt by the boat. We were rock fishing, just said whatever, try and catch some on the uh, sabiki. So yeah, anyway, good day out here. No rock fish for us. It, we just wanted to get in early and also don't want to fillet 20 rock fish when we get home. So we'll just take the four link on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.